Hi, my name is Leandro Cipitria, and I'm going to show you uh, the paper entitled Varieties as a Source of Low One Pride Deviation, Joint Work with Fernando Borras from the Central Bank of Uruguay. So, hope everyone is doing well and safe in, in these difficult times. So, this is uh, the main idea of the paper is to show that uh, the low one price, which explains how the price of similar goods converge between geographical, different geographical areas, which have long been studied in macroeconomics. Um, and the main explanation for the convergence of, of prices between different geographical locations uh, is mainly due to transport costs or barriers to trade, like, like such as, um, uh, you know, um, the um, borders and the kind of stuff. So price uh, arbitrage implies that the same product competes with itself at different locations. So once the uh, distance shrinks to zero, price should be equalized um, um, because due to the competition between the same good sold at different stores. Uh, in this paper, we uh, want to show you that price arbitrage is just one part of the story. That, uh, there should be another arbitrage condition that it should be that uh, the stores that sold the same goods should have also the same varieties within the same product category and that's the key issue that i, I want to show you in this um, eight minutes that remain so the idea is very simple imagine uh, simple imagine that there are two pro imagine that there is coke sold at two different stores so um, fixed distance 100 meters whatever so fixed distance and there, there is a price dispersion due to the distance. So but the, the point here of this paper is that imagine that you, at one store there is also Pepsi that is sold, um, and, but it's not sold in the other store. So now Coke is competing with Pepsi at one store, but not in the other. So prices will, be, will not converge due to this competition within store for similar products in the same category. And let me show this motivation graph that shows for uh, pooled products uh, categories, product groups, um, the diff price difference in percentage uh, and the relative frequency of these uh, price differences. Uh, this is uh, very skewed to the left. We have the prices that nearly equal are uh, more frequent than prices that are rather different. This is for uh, stores that are located one kilometer of or distance, and we have here this uh, the same frequent the, fr the same price uh, difference, but for different settings. In one setting, which is in, in gray, what we have is that the stores have the same number of categories, the same number of products. Sorry, in the in the same product category, say both have Coke or both have Pepsi, so they have the same number of goods. So the price of Coke tend to be more, simi more frequently similar between stores. But once stores have different number of varieties, the varieties, so imagine that uh, one have Coke and the other have Coke and also Pepsi, when we compare the price of uh, Coke, as I said in the previous sample, then we, show, we can show that, um, th this graph shows you that uh, having the same price is, less frequent in the data. So it's more skewed towards the right. Um, we have a sim very simple model, um, which is an extension of the hotel in linear city model, but we have another line uh, above the traditional uh, hotel in model of the row city model. And we have another second variety, which competes with the, the other that is below. And we show that there is an equilibrium in which prices uh, will, will not converge if stores have this offer different varieties. So let me show you here what we have. We have two stores, which is a store located at zero and located at L. Uh, store located at zero offer two varieties, which is A and B, uh, but store located at L offer only variety A. So in equilibrium, we have, when we compare the price of the variety A between both stores, what we got is that prices will not converge. 
and that is what we got here. When <clears throat> when we compare the same number of varieties, say the same Kotelin model, we have the same prices in equilibrium, and price difference should be zero here. Prices price difference is zero, but when we have different varieties in between both stores, say uh, as in the, I show you in the previous picture, we have one store that have both um, Propose A and B, but the other that only have product, product A. So when we compare the prices of A in equilibrium, it will be a this price difference between the price of the product A in both stores. That's how, uh, what the model shows. So let's go to the data. Uh, what we've got uh, is uh, <clears throat> prices collected by the Uruguayan Ministry of Finance. We have daily data from April 2007 to uh, September 2014. We have nearly all supermarkets that sold products in Uruguay, but we have a, a, only 144 products here on, 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 in our database for 60 markets. Um, and we have all the information defined at the UPC code. So we are comparing exactly the same brand um, for um, all the all the all the stores that have in the country in Uruguay. So we just dump, count the number of posted prices here for each product category. Defining I don't know um, water, and we have different um, brands of water here. So for each brand, we calculate the price. Um, we have the monthly price for each uh, product and store, and we calculate all price difference for. Um, all the stores in the in our database, and also we calculate the number of uh, difference in, in the number of varieties. So we calculate for each product, we count um, in each category uh, the the number of other varieties that are also present in the database, and we then just uh, make create the absolute price uh, absolute difference in the number of varieties between stores. So if one store have two varieties in, for that product in that product category and the other are three, we should have one um, difference in the number of varieties between both stores. Um, we have two millions of observation in original price um, database. Um, when we create this price difference, we go up to 272 million observation. We just take a 10% um, uh, random database because or due to computational computational problems, we cannot calculate all the, the regression with this uh, large database. So we just do the basic regra basic regression here: the price difference, the price difference between um, um, in logs between pro uh, for product A in between store S and R R at uh, time T. Um, and we regress that for uh, um, uh, just a fixed effect for products, uh, time fixed effect, and the distance between store S and R. And then we have here controls, uh, fixed effect, fixed store, fixed effect, um, etc. And we add our, our variable here, which is the difference in varieties between both stores um, with the other controls in the regression. So then let me show you the results. We have that we calculate here for different controls. This is with our basic regression. We have site dummies, uh, product dummies, different uh, city dummies, and same chain dummies. And we have uh, the, the parameter, the, the difference in prices due uh, to one uh, the additional variety between both stores is nearly of, uh, zero point six percent which is large um, this this effect decreases when we add more controls change the store uh, dummies and chain time dummies when we add these additional controls it decreases like um, 0.2 percent but it remains in this point. so this is the, the whole point of the paper the um, let me show you that uh, what we found here is that Prices, uh, even controlling for distance, prices will not converge if there is no conversion in the number of varieties between stores. If stores offer different varieties between them, 
then prices of the same goods, which is available at both stores, will not be equal in equilibrium. So thank you very much. I hope you um, enjoyed the paper. And if you have any further questions, don't uh, do not hesitate to contact me at leandro.cipitria at sociales.edu.ut. So thank you very much.